down behind there. So while he's gone, I can take a picture. I got a feeling the video is still running. I'm videoing. It's called Warren Cottage. It's a nice little place. I've walked past there loads of times. Brent Knoll in the distance in the mist. Crooks Peak, of course. Like I said, I've walked past there loads and loads of times for years. I've been walking here. Now, when we get up a bit further in a minute, it's not yet, but it's not far. It's either this field or the one next to it, where I saw a black panther. I'm not joking. I spotted its black head, a large cat-like creature creeping in one of the fields. The grass was a bit longer then or the hay, whatever it was. But it went, yeah. What it was, it was probably round about here. What it was, I, I was, I saw the cattle. My attention was taken by the cows that were on the path, which I did think was a bit weird. I also spotted a man climbing over a fence over there where there's some cages. Now, I don't know whether he let it out, but there was a bloke somewhere over there and I don't know, it wasn't this field. I'm not sure if it was this field. Yeah, I'm not sure if it was this field. I got a, no, I got a feeling it was that field, which is very, has got maize in it. So they probably rotate the maize. That's right. So today I wouldn't see, if there was a black panther in that maze, I wouldn't see it. But I wouldn't walk in a maze again. But there is a way across, see that gate there? There is a way across on a lovely track skirting the wood, which I'm not going to do today, but I have done it. Yeah, I have done it. I'm keeping the camera rolling, I think. I think it's still going. I might have to edit it in a minute. But sometimes you need a bit of continuity. But it makes it a very long video, so sometimes you have to split it. Now, there's definitely maze in that field. I wouldn't wander through there. But like I said, further along, I, when I was further along, I looked back and I saw a bloke climbing over a fence. I also spot, I also passed some people, and then a bloke in a, an old banger came along, like an old farmer, he came out of the farmhouse. So whether they know there's a black panther about, look out for pool marks now. Um, whether they know, see that there's a, a way through here, could be that a black panther crawls through here, go into this beautiful valley. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's not the Vale of Avalon, but it's part of it. It's separated by the Mendip Hills there, Crooks Peak, Wavery Down. But there's lots of little humps and bumps around, like over there. There's some Roman stuff here. Uh, that hump and bump down there I'll just zoom in a minute, hold on. 
If I go in past that tree, past those houses, there's like a a, a little raised hill there. Now the ro there are Romans. We're here, by the way. That is known. That is known that the Romans were here. They would have planted on these hills, these terraces. Yes, yeah, disappointing the weather today. Right, I'm going to turn off the camera now for a minute, give it a break. But you can bet your life, the moment I do that, a black panther will turn up, won't it? Do you know what I mean? This is what happened before. So, let's turn it off for a minute. Right, this is the, the field. Six odd months ago, it could even be eight months ago. You could, it was very, very low down. There, there wasn't tall like this, this maze, this corn. And I could see the, the baseline of the wood when it wasn't like this, you see. And it was, um, where I spotted it, was, it was a bit further up. It was, um, just before the cottage, the old barn, that I looked back, I spotted somebody walking, you see. What it was, I spotted a bloke walking, and I seen him getting over a fence into the wood. So it, it attracted my attention. So I just stood for a while and looked at him. Then I looked around a bit further. I wasn't filming at the time, and I saw this large black cat head. It wouldn't have been a cat because of the distance I was looking back. And then it started to move, stealthily. And I thought then, that's a panther. That's the black panther. And the thing is, there's a mystery about this wood. I've been around in it and out of it. I've seen cages and all sorts in there. They're supposed to be breeding rare birds or something, I don't know. But anyway... No, it's, it's sort of private. I don't let you going in there. It's full of mystery because of the caves and the bones. And there was a cave that I actually sort of went down in once. Do you know, I wouldn't do that again. At the time, I thought, God, I wonder if anything... I thought to myself, that was a couple of years ago, I wonder if I'm about crap fellows in there. Do you know what I mean? So I wouldn't do it. I haven't... I don't know if I'll go over there again. People don't like you going, but I've had several people sort of try to put me off or warn me about it. But now I've seen with my own eyes, it's made me think twice, to be quite honest, because if you've got, got air, no one would know. Do you know what I mean? Nobody would know. It's remote, although you do get the old person walking along here. And that farmer. Now, if that farmer comes out now in his vehicle, you can bet your life that someone at the other end at Banwell has said, that woman's over here again. Do you know what I mean? Now, it was about here, six, eight months ago, I was walking along. I've got it in the video diary, I will know. The cows were all munching here. The cows were all munching. And I thought, God, I hope they're going to be friendly. Do you know what I mean? Because I am a bit wary of cows. Anyway, they seemed to be more interested in some hay that seemed to be put out for them. So basically, they, they, didn't, they weren't interested in me. They just wanted to eat the hay. So I was able to pass them. And n none of this hedgerow was high like this. 
Now it isn't quite here where I look back. It might have even by I think it might have even been by a gate. If not, the hedgerow was so low I was able to view across the field. Like looking back like now, say, but it's a bit further on. This is where I've seen the cows, and there was lots of hay here. There's still remnants of it now, of hay, and the cows were busy munching. Look, there's a little cow there now, look, a little baby heifer. Hello. Hello, tiny cat. Tiny cat. Hello, tiny little coffee. Meeting your picture. Yeah, there's lots of you in there. Where's your mamas? Hey, you've been taken away from your mamas. Let me just put that there a minute. Yeah, lots of little baby cows. Right, so over there, this a little cow, look, he's looking at me. Over there's the motorway, the M5 motorway. There's the cottage where the old farmer lives. Now it won't far from here. I passed the cows. I didn't look back yet because I'd only just passed the cows. Whether it was say from a spot here that I saw something and it was because the grass wasn't, the maze wasn't there. I'm not quite sure of the exact spot but um, I will have got it on a picture I tried to capture uh, on the video eight months ago for six months ago whenever it was I came here it's a nice walk this I'm just keeping the video rolling at the moment because it was along here somewhere where I saw the panther I haven't told anyone because people don't believe you because there's so many people have had sightings but I definitely saw it and um, it's way it was w w moving through the the not too tall grass but I'm not quite sure where but all I remember is stopping maybe I'd pass the cows here maybe this gap here maybe and um, I saw the bloke, don't forget that maze wasn't there, I could see straight across the baseline of the wood and I saw a man climbing over into the wood and then I looked back a bit further, that's when I saw the panther but I'm not sure exact spot but it's not far from here because I sort of looked back but I'm sure I was looking back through the field whether I went up to the fence there and looked back, I don't know but I, all I know is I got back, I never mentioned it to this man, but it could be that I spotted it after the bloke had passed. But I thought to myself, they probably know about the panther. Maybe they guard this bit of patch, just in case. Maybe someone has gone missing before now. Oh, he's got the Buddha as well. He's got the Buddha on that oil tanker there. I've seen that Buddha. See it? That was on top of a big heap of silage. I wonder where it had gone. It's not a bad day for walking actually. They said there could be a sprinkling of rain. I've managed to do a bit of um, videoing. So, I mean, I can't really tell where I was because it's so overgrown now. I can't sort of just look back and say, well, that's where I seen it, you know. But it was it was along the stretch somewhere. Um, he's a bit late. 
like getting out in his car. Huh? Yeah, a bit like getting out. It could have even been sort of, let's say, if I stood here and looked back, and say I stood here and looked back, and the, this was all not so overgrown. Um, it could have been, it could have been. I'm sure there's a gate somewhere, but no, I don't think it's much further than this. When I look back, as so I saw the bloke getting in, I look back over there. It was round about over there where it came, oh, it was walking across. I've seen it. Yeah, this uh, that could have been always been the cottage there. It's looking a bit derelict. It's starting to look a bit derelict. So anyway, it was somewhere looking back like that, but it was shorter, and I might have even been closer when I seen it. I think I did try and take a shot, but it was too fast. It had gone by the time I'd um realize what I was looking at. Do you know what I mean? You can't always be ready. But I heard the farmer there and his dog. So if he comes along his vehicle now, he's on patrol. <laughs> yeah. So there are a few gaps. You could easily sort of gone. I could have even stood there and looked back, see? Or I could have even gone into the field. I'm sure there's a gate. I think this one here. I, what I might have done is got as far as this gate. It would have been, all oh, the grass would have been low. See, there's the cornfield. I could have gone over to the gate like this and look back. I think this is where I did do it from here. Look back. This is the angle from here. Let me do a picture. Yeah, you can't see across the baseline of the wood at all here. This is where it was. It was from here. I knew there was a gate involved. Yeah, definitely. Do you know, I normally have me cheese and biscuits after crossing the motorway. Have me cheese and tomato. But what I'm going to do today is wait till I've climbed up to the plantation. Or sometimes I do have it on the top of the plantation. I still get indigestion, but there's no massive hills. Not really to climb after that. Yeah, this is a nice gentle plod today. Of course it was up here, where the tall trees come into view in a minute, oak trees, where I collected a couple acorns a couple years ago and one of them did actually develop quite well. And then he got some sort of fungi. Hello, how are you doing? Looks like a way in there, doesn't it? Cows look. See them? Let's see ya. Let's see ya. Hi. Bye, Mamas. He likes his black cows, that bloke. Of course, it's difficult for a lot of farmers now, you know, surviving in a way. Unless you're one of these entrepreneurial fa farmers who've got all the education and knowledge and obviously take a risk with money and invest <sighs> yeah these big trees here this is where we're just around the corner even the ones bit just beyond this is where I This is where I um, 
picked up the acorns. I was really proud of it. It was doing so well. You know, it got to about eight inches high, or maybe six. It looked really well. I was looking after it. And then it got bloody mould on it, and it didn't live. Here's another view what I could have done from this gate, looking across the... Obviously you can't see nothing with this corn here. But here's another view that I could have done. I, like I say, I've, I think I might have mentioned it to Zara once, but you, it, I didn't get a good picture. I didn't get a picture of it. But I'd heard that there are rumours in Banwell Village about it. So it must exist. It definitely looked like a black panther to me. It was the shape of the head and everything. And the way it was stealthily moving, I mean... They might, they probably know it lives up there. And they put people off going in there. Well, I've taken a few risks a few times. I really have. It's very spooky in there. It's very isolated in there. Anyway, we've now come to a little hamlet here. With the big houses. Where the grotto and the caves are where prehistoric bones were found of mammoths and tigers and where those big trees are in the stone of William Beard that's I think they did put I think they might have buried some of the bones there or something in memory of it. I'm not sure exactly because I've forgotten the history but um, some of the bones will probably be in a Taunton Museum or or somewhere. I'm not sure if Bamwell's got a museum. Imagine living out here though. I remember when somebody did and the gate wasn't all covered up. And it looked quite nice and they tended it. Be creepy at night though, wouldn't it? You'd be all on your own out here. With that bloody black panther lurking. Yeah, hey? This is gradually eroding here, and these are the big trees, the oak trees I'm talking about, like one like that there. No acorns today, not yet. Lovely big holly tree. Oh, and the smell of manure. It always reminds me of when we had hamsters and rabbits in the countryside when you smell this. And when I was a child where we had a tin bath on wheels and we used to go and collect the manure for our gardens from Mr Chilcock the farmer down at the cider farm. Yeah, loads of towels I've got. Yeah, this ways in round there, I've done it all. Raised in round there to get on the track to go skirting past the, the wood there. It's looking more and more run down all the time. Every time I come, it looks a little bit more derelict. Every time I come. Um, I mean, he keeps his black cows going. Yeah, and then there's some old ruins up the top there as well. And the grotto's up there. Yeah, shooting in progress today. They always put that there. They really, really try to keep people out of here. I've never seen trespassers will be prosecuted before. But I've, a bloke did tell me that they do shoot up there. I mean, I know there's some sort of birds up there. They all farmers probably got cameras up. Right, I'm going to turn off again. Over and out for a minute.